my channel. So, today I'm going to do my finale for my yearly project pan. So, um, yeah, so you guys will see the intro to my 2024 yearly project pan beginning of next year, around the beginning of January when it all starts. Now, some of the stuff I did finish, some of the stuff I didn't finish, but want to keep in my collection and all that. And some stuff I really didn't want to just finish, get out, and used and everything. So, let's go over a primer. The first one was the NYX, the Marshmallow Primer. This is completely done. This actually, I figured that if I didn't get it done by the time I did the finale, I definitely would have to clutter it. I don't use it as often as I used to. I loved it beginning. It had a very good marshmallow um, smell. It wasn't that um, too marshmallow, like candy marshmallow, but it just had that right good smell to it and everything. So, um, I really did like it. It was just supposed to help prolong your makeup and everything and all of that. And so, yeah, I think it did a good job making my makeup last long, but like I said, I haven't used it for quite a while and I knew it was getting older, so this is completely done and out of my collection and everything and you guys will see my yearly empty Stuff that I used up for the whole 2024, uh, 2023, sorry, I'm already heading myself. Um, so you might see this in that. Let's go ahead and to the stuff I do have on my face. So everything on my face will be down below. So make sure you check that guys out. Also, I will link my playlist of my yearly project pan. If you guys want to see the intro all the way to now finale everything are in between and I'll list the playlist up above in the card so check that out if you guys are interested and because I did use some stuff and I did replace it and everything because with it being yearly project pan I had more time to try and get through stuff try to get through some makeup products some products that have been in my collection for a while and all that so yeah let's go ahead so um I had the pure lease Primer Moisturizer, that was completely done. So it got replaced with this one right here, which is on my face. This is a Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer. I love these type of primers. They are great for um, anyone who don't use, don't want to use a primer and a moisturizer separate. These are good products for people who have like more dry to normal skin, who need more hydration and stuff like that. The smell... Smells like coconut, but not too much, and it does have a little tint to it, so it does give you like a little bit of coverage. So it looks like that, but when you rub it in, it looks very like hydrated and everything. So I personally like heavy products like that because sometimes I don't want to just do my moisturizer primer separate. I do like doing this together that way I get all the benefit and a little bit of coverage and a little bit of hydration and stuff like that so yeah I love First Aid Beauty I tried some products from them so it is um good for like sensitive skin and all that people who have breakouts people who get red things like that so it's not finished but I am going to keep my collection and I'm going to try to get it done next year. I have my whole list next year all the way done completed. So, like I said, you guys will see that next month when I start that intro for the 2024. So, yeah. But, I'm happy to use it. Happy in my collection. And I think it does a great job. So, yeah. Next is foundation. So, I did have the Jolene Truly Your BB Beauty Bomb. I am so glad I completely done that. You guys know how I felt like that from the very beginning when I first got it. I just went out of my collection. I used it. It was done and over with. So I replaced it with the Sephora um, Best Skin Ever. This is also on my face. I do like this. This is more like a mattifying type um, foundation. But once you put like a hydrating foundation, a prime pore filling foundation, it doesn't make my skin look cakey and dry. It makes it look very smooth and all that. And I don't, and this does not cause me to look oily. 
and it stays on for a long time so my goal was to finish it because I do have a lot of foundations that need to get done and I do try some every year when I do my big Sephora haul for the new year I do get some foundations but um also work on the ones I have that way I get more use out of those and try new ones so yeah my goal to finish it I have window something so this is pretty much how far I've gone down but I am going to keep this and I am going to use it this is more like the summer foundation I spraying when my skin get oily but we'll see how next year brings like I said this year my skin has been completely oily to combo to dry and it's changing so much so we'll see how my skin feels next year but I am going to keep using this along I don't use a mattifying primer or anything like mattifying after mattifying stuff on my face but other than that my face looks good I like the way it looks it looks healthy it looks glowy it doesn't feel oily or anything like that so I like it uh, the next one was the Todd Hydro if you guys will see you guys are going to see, I was going to put my first update my fall and winter project pan this month. But with the holidays, Christmas and New Year coming and all that, I have more holiday stuff. I have more finales I need to get done. I have more things I need to get. There's kind of more priority than this. But you will see that next month in January for my first update. This will be in it. So heads up, like I said, in that video and in this one. This is completely finished. This was the top Magicudo Tint Hydrate. It's just like a little mini one that I figure I get through. And take less than a year to get through. So, I really liked it. It was good for me. And I was more into like tinted hydrating, moisturizers, balms, you know, skin tint, things like that. This year, I wasn't willing to move to have anything like full coverage or heavy or anything like that. I was more into lightweight skin tint and everything, so this is great. And if I had less foundation, I probably would buy this in full size because I didn't like the way it looked on me and everything and well, well. So this is done, but I would buy a full size if I had less foundations to get through. Okay, the next one is Xilla. So I did have the Maybelline Andrew Wine. You guys know that is my holy drugstore Xilla. I love. I had two of them. I had the fair and the medium. I use all of the fair. I couldn't really find my medium one. I think I declutter or something like that. I'll put it somewhere. So that was gone. Um like I said I'll link all this playlist stuff up above that way you guys know what I'm talking about and saw everything that I originally put in this and used it took out and replaced um so i really that was the only concealer i had was trying to get those done i was like really close of getting the medium one done i was less than half way through and the sponge unfortunately came off if you guys know what the maybelline adrian wine little tube looks like they have a little sponge that you just twist up and it comes out and you use it to follow your face so, um, unfortunately, like I said, this kind of went off. So I put it in a different container to use because it wasn't, it was too little deep for my under eyes, but I loved it for like concealer spots on my T-zones or places like that where I needed more coverage and not so darkening underneath my eyes. So yeah. Okay. Setting powder. I had the AOA Studio. I finished that. That was just a little mini one. It was okay. Wasn't my favorite setting powder. It really didn't look that good on me. And I really don't think it really set my makeup well enough to last for a long time. So I wouldn't necessarily buy that. I buy that on Shop Miss A. And I bought a few things from that website. Some were good. Some was bad. And I just wanted to use it up and all that. The next one I did replace, next one was the Ciate VK1, the one that Coconut Sand Powder finished that. That was good. I really did enjoy using it. It did not, it didn't have a strong coconut smell, but it did set my face really good and I could do it underneath the eyes. So for that fact, I placed it with the um, filter powder. 
you can see I have this much left, but when you open it up, it does come to the very, very top. So this is how much I have on the top, but when you close it, it doesn't look like I have really that much left. So this is what I'm starting out. I have two of these. One, this is a butter shade, the other one banana shade, because when I first bought it, it said to use a butter all over the face, a banana underneath the eyes to, when they had that trend of using banana powders to brighten up their eyes and everything. So this I have on me. It's all over my face and everything. And I really do like the Pro Filter. I really do like the powder. I heard that the pressed powder is good also. So, and I like Fenty Beauty stuff anyways. I have quite a few of that, a few of that, a few of the stuff on the brand. So yeah, I placed with that. I'm literally almost done. My goal next year, which I will be, like I said before, will be talking about the goals I have for 2024. One of them is to use most of my foundation, powders, setting sprays, and all that stuff that's been in my drawer for a while that needs to be constantly, needs to be on my collection for one reason or another. Because I always bring new stuff in every new year and I test new stuff a lot throughout the year that it kind of gets in the back burner. So I need to definitely um, get used more like these, like the powders. And my goal is to finish a lot of my loose powders, then focus on my pressed powders because loose powders I like to say I need my eyes a pressed powder sometimes on my face sometimes the pressed powder I like to do on my face too it depends on what I feel like and what I like using but my goal is to use a lot of my loose powders because they tend to get in the back burner a lot so since I didn't finish this the stuff will be empty for 2024 get Next is the blush. So like I said, anytime I do this, these type of project pans, I always do a liquid and cream. Because like I said, I have tons of creams, which I now enjoy using. But um, I do want to get rid of some of them and not have a whole collection for them to go really bad. Because like I said, like we know, liquids and creams go bad faster. So I don't want them sitting in my drawer and not being used and everything and go bad and wish I used them and all that. So every time I do this project, type project pan, I always do a cream and a either cream, liquid, one of those two, and then a powder to go along with it. So for the cream part of it, a liquid part of it, is the She Glam Bloom Blush. I think they're called... Um, she Glam Bloom Can't hear the right but This is what they look like and I'm completely done with it I took the stopper out and you see I scrape every single bit of it So this is shade Hush Hush I really do enjoy She Glam blushes and highlights I have highlights that I use I have um, a new color blush so, I am going to be going over everything that I did. I did get a full face sheen glam this year. I still need to get over, go over all of them. So, I will be doing a full uh, best and worst of sheen glam, the products I used, and everything. So, but I love the blushes. They're easy, they're blendable. You could do a powder, you could do an under powder, you could set it. I mean, they blend out amazingly, and I really do love the shade Hush Hush. So, that reason why I bought another one. The one I bought is in this new kind, like, pack shade. And all that, and it is called Love Cake. So, this is very, it's almost the same shade as Hush Hush, but a little bit more pinkier. I don't know if I get any off. Barely. But this is more like coal pink. And you can see like the difference. But they blend out so beautifully, so easily. So I had to get another one of that. But yeah, I am completely done with Hush Hush. And then for blush, again, on my face, is the Eshin the blush 
This is in Bifini. Unfortunately, the package broke, but it's a beautiful, like, pinky type shade. I really do enjoy it. I love Essence blushes. They are blendable and all of that. So, definitely will be keeping that. But that's what's on my face. Then, we have highlights. Again, I... I didn't do powder with highlight, I just decided to do the two highlights. One, again, is on my face and it is the Lunch Money, the Super Shock Cheek Highlighters. So I decided to put, again, both of them in. My goal was to finish, since I've already hit pan on them, you can see the pan in this and pan in that. So, they are still creamy. They are still liquidy. They are not dry whatsoever. But they are the most beautiful highlights that I've ever had in my entire collection of buying highlighters. This cannot beat them. And I do keep the lids on tight. That way it can stay beautiful as it is but this is that one right there you can see more pearlized and then you have a lunch money which is on me now and this is a shade so you can see two different shades but beautiful so yeah my goal was to finish them i think i have them in my 2024 project pan but we will see I have to go back and look when I start filming the intro for it. But that's what you see on my cheek, brow bone, in a corner. They're just ones that I will love that I love using all the time. Okay, setting spray. The one I have is completely finished with the NYX Plump Finish. This one I kind of want to get rid of too. I had this for a while. It's okay, setting spray. Not the best, not my favorite makeup Milani, or uh, the airbrush one, or even the e.l.f. one, or some of the high ends I really do enjoy, so it was good while well, it lasted. Um, next one is lips. I have all of these Maybelline lip glosses that I did put in, as you can see. But the ones I made more progress on was this one right here. As you can see, it's literally almost halfway done. And this is in pearl. The next one was this one right here in sun. You can see how much I've used of that. And then other ones I kind of used. And the one I have on my lip is silk. So that's on my lips. And then you got the other two. So my goal was to finish these. At least finish as much as I could. I'll get more progress out of them. As you can see, I got more progress out of two of them. This one, I guarantee, will be done by the end of 2024. This is a great gloss to live on its own. On top of any lip product. Or uh, just on its own. Because it has a beautiful, glittery type sparkle. Which... See, very beautiful. Um, then I had the Revlon Path McGrath. Two of them, they went bad, they had to go, so I replaced them both. So, the one I placed with is the Ultra One. Again, this is something that I need to actually let go of. It's just, again, beautiful. I love it, but it's just one of those lips that I just had too long and I don't want them to go bad and all that but that's the color for that so I'm gonna go ahead and clear this probably throw away had it long enough uh my goal was to use it 23 times since it was in 2023 mm, only used it a few times not enough to mention the next one was the Pro Signing one. This one is in Karma. Again, I put a liquid lipstick and a lipstick in this, which I know I should have just stuck with the glosses. More easier to use, more to get progress on. But I figured, hey, maybe I could try to get use out of my lip products because they're mostly pretty much the same. Pretty much the same color. So this one I am going to keep. 
because I do like Prize Society and I like the liquid lipsticks and the lip, uh, lip glosses of them, but this I'm going to keep. Um, the next one. Oh, did I do bronzers? I don't think I did. Okay, <laughs> sorry. So I did get the She Glam Sculpt, Sun Sculpt Liquid Bronzer. Again, completely empty. So this was the liquid version of it. Again, love the bronzers for She Glam. Love all that liquid highlight bronzer. All that. I tried the highlight. Love the highlight so far. And then for the powder is the Revlon Skin Light. My goal was just to hit pan. As you can see, I got a big dip. I think I feel like I am almost done, almost heat pan, but not quite yet. I have this on my face. So we will see. Maybe 2024, if I use it enough, I could do that. I really do want to hit so many pans, I want to record it. I show you guys how much progress I used in all that when it comes to heat pan and all that. So yeah. Okay, next is eyeliner. I had the Johanna one. Um, it went bad. I hardly ever use eyeliners. I know so many people do. So many YouTubers, Instagram, people in general do eyeliners. But I never got into hang up eyeliner. I use it once in a while. If I get a new one or uh, somehow a new one comes to me, I try it. But to constantly use it every time. I like just simple, easy, normal I look, I mean, I don't get festy up or dressed up unless it's important occasion or I just feel fancy and want to use eyeliner, you know, type thing. So, got one of that. Um, liquid eyeshadow. I had the Mandy Card one. Again, you guys will see this when I put the playlist up there. That would dry. So, the one I have my eyes. This one right here, the Oza Beautiful Eye One in Rose. Oh my god, this is the most beautiful liquid eyeshadow. It is literally feel like it's almost out. But there's still a lot. But it still blends. It's still beautiful. It still works really well. It doesn't fall out. I don't have crumbles. I don't have um fall anything like that. It blends out. It, it's just still amazing liquid eyeshadow. So my goal was to finish it because I do have a lot of liquid eyeshadows that I need to get through. And I figured, hey, let's go ahead and put a project pan and see how many progress. Like I said, that feel like it is literally almost done. So I may have a chance for it to be done by the time next year comes if I keep work on it outside of project pan. So yeah, really do like it. Unfortunately, didn't hit the goal, but like I said, I feel like I'm literally almost done with this, so I could, like I said, finish it. Um, I think that's it. Let me check my blush, because I think I would did replace one of my blushes. Save powder, blonde brush. Oh, yeah. I missed one. So, since I... Finish the hash hush way before the finale. I decided to put this in the Fowler, Fowler, hmm, Flower Beauty <laughs> Blush Balm in Color Nectarine. Now, this I am going to clutter. I'm just not really into these oranges type, you know, type ones that look, I don't know. I mean, it looks good, but I'm not really into this. So, I'm going to go ahead and at least declutter that. But, my I placed that with the um, Sheen Glam when I got done with it. So, yeah. Okay, so the last two things is I decided to put some couple of non-makeup items in my Project Pan C to get done with them and all that. And I have a lot of non-makeup items that I have to get through also. One is lotion. I have a lot of lotions and I use lotion every night, every day. It just, 
I just love lotion. I love smell lotion. I like to fill lotion, all that. So I got a whole bunch of Bath to Body Works. You guys saw the video very beginning of this year when I did a big Bath to Body Works haul for the summer and all that. So I got a whole bunch of summer lotions, gels, all that. So I decided to put this in here. This is Bath to Body Works Bahama Pasture for a Banana Flower. My goal was to finish it and I am completely done with it. Um, I did use this at nighttime. was my nighttime lotion. Now I placed it with something else. Didn't put it down on here, but I did replace it. Use a different lotion now. This I love. It literally smell like I was on a tropical hue, like in the Bahamas, uh, in one of those amazing resorts. Places for a very good vacation. So, my goal finish, and I did. So, that is completely done. The next one was something I don't have, which I should have kept, but didn't. And that was the, um, body, another bath, bath, bath. <laughs> sorry, I'm not fully awake, didn't sleep that well the night before. Bath to body work, body spray. It was in Dream Intense. So, my goal was to finish it. I was about a little bit under halfway. So I decided to color, to color that. It was really old. Didn't start to smell good anymore now. And I was like, okay, I think I'm pretty much done with this. So I liked the beginning when I first got it. Beautiful, beautiful packaging, all that. So yeah, that is everything I have had in my 2023 project pan. And this is finale. Hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, I'll put the playlist above my 2023 and that way you can watch from beginning all the way to the end. I cannot believe it was that time of the month. And another project pan will be coming up. I cannot believe in a few weeks we'll be in a new year. It is crazy because I have a lot of stuff that I'll be doing in 2024 more than ever that I did this year and I'm excited but not. <laughs> So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoy showing what I used, what I progressed, what, how much I used everything, what I had in there and all that. So if you did enjoy, make sure you give a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, that way you guys know when I upload a weekend. Make sure you hit the like, a comment, subscribe, hit <laughs> like button and comment down below if you guys did a project pan, if you finished anything this year, did you do goals, if you did a goal, what goal was it, you know, what did you want to use up for this year, and get a collection, or just wanted to get done with it, or just wanted to use it up. Love to hear from you guys, so till then, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>